So you want more money? Here's how to manifest it from seemingly out of nowhere, you guys, for real. Today I'm going to share with you a dope Devil Goddard story. I love this one. That'll show you how to do this. Okay, here's the story. There was this one time when Neville's friend owed him money. And Neville's wife wasn't too happy about it. And she said to him, you know, here's a little unfinished business. A friend of ours owes you some money. You've never asked him for it. You've never written. You've never mentioned it to anyone. But he owes you the money. I don't think it's fair to him, fair to you, fair to me, that it continues indefinitely without ever mentioning the fact that he owes you the money. So Neville's like, all right, you want the money? She said, yes. Then Neville said, all right, I will do it in my own way. I will not ask him for it. I will not write him for it. I will not phone him for it. But I will do it in my own way of imagination. And here's what Neville did. Ready? He imagined, first of all, that his friend had the money. Why? Because you can't get money from someone who doesn't have it, right? So he first assumed that he had it. But he didn't stop there. He then went beyond that. Because you can have money, shoot, even millions of dollars and still be unwilling to pay off your debts. You know what I'm saying? So he saw his friend with money, lots of money. And then he saw his friend willing and eager to pay him. Neville created a little scene where he imagined the phone ringing and the friend wanting to see him. He imagined the friend and his wife sitting in his living room and receiving what's owed to him. That's it. Short and sweet. Neville did this on a Wednesday. Check this out. On Friday, the phone rang around 4 or 5.30. And guess who it was? That's right. It was his friend. Who, by the way, hasn't called him in over a year, you guys? A year. That's a long time. Now, all of a sudden, he calls? Huh. The friend asked him if he was busy that night, and Neville said that he was lecturing. So, the friend and his wife went to the meeting. After the meeting, the friend offered Neville a ride home. And when they got to the parking lot, here's the thing. Neville remembered that his friend always drove an old jalopy, like a beat-up car, something falling apart. But that's not what he saw this time. The friend had a brand new Chrysler, the New Yorker model, with everything in it, Neville says, that money can buy. And he drove Neville home. And not once during the car ride did Neville bring up the money. Not once. Even when they got to his place, he didn't say anything. They hung out for a bit in his living room. And then, five minutes before they left, the friend's wife opened up her purse and said, Neville, this is long, long overdue, but I think you'll find it in order. And handed him a check for $1,200. Boom. Just as he imagined. Coincidence? Think about it. In the five years he owed Neville, Neville never asked for it for five years. Neville could have gotten freaking pissed and chewed him out, but he didn't. He simply imagined what he wanted, and not too long after, as Neville puts it, it came out of the nowhere. But of course, Neville knows a secret. It ultimately came from where? His imagination. Imagining creates reality. Imagining creates reality. I bet you've heard that before. But the question is, do you believe it? Seriously. Because look, you can hear all this and be like, what a bunch of BS, dude. It's too good to be true. Yo, if that's you, then don't be surprised if you don't see any results. Or you can hear all this and believe, which will make all the difference straight up. Folks, know what you want, in this case money, and create in your mind's eye a scene, any scene, where you now have the money you want to have. And believe in your imaginal act. Feel the abundance. Feel the relief. Because what you want is already yours. And then somehow, out of the nowhere, the money will come. All by imagination. Because you get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to help support this channel. And the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and, of course, I'll spread this message. And if you're new to LOA or you're manifesting, then go register for my free online training that'll seriously help you to start creating the life you really want right now. So check it out. Links in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.